You're welcome to Educational World Selaxi. Thank you for tuning in. This is Educational World Selaxi, and welcome to my practical class today, Physics Wire 2022. And these are the apparatus we are provided with. So we have the knife edge. We have the knife edge. We have a piece of string or rope, okay, which is gotten from that bunch there. We have a weighing balance. Then we also given a a set of masses of twenty grams each. Twenty grams masses, and that's our mass hanger. That's our mass hanger, okay. And then we have our meter rule. We have our meter rule. All right. Now, Wayek has has got a little bit smarter, smarter in what they are doing. They are making it a little bit more difficult for us to predict this practical. But let's move on to my own prediction for this year's physics 2022 question number one practical on magnets. Question goes this way: You are provided with a meter rule, a knife edge, a set of masses, twenty grams, forty grams, sixty grams, eighty grams, and hundred grams, respectively, a piece of string, a weighing balance, and a mass hanger. Set up the apparatus as shown in the, in the diagram above. Weigh and record the weight M O of the mass hanger. Balance the meter rule horizontally on the knife edge and record its center of gravity. The next is to tie the string on the mass hanger and fix it at the 2 cm mark of the meter rule. Balance the meter rule on the knife edge with the mass hanger on the 2 cm mark. Read and record the balance point L. Read off the value of X and evaluate for the inverse of X. Repeat the procedure by adding other masses to the hanger which includes 40, 60, 80, and 100 grams, respectively. In each case, you are to determine and record the corresponding values of X and the inverse of X. Tabulate your readings, plot the graph of M on the vertical axis and the inverse of X on the horizontal axis, and determine the slope of the graph. So this is the question, my own prediction. Weighing this mass hanger, on our weighing balance gives us a weight of 20 grams. So the mass hanger weighs 20 grams. Now we balance the meter rule horizontally on the knife edge and we can see that the balance point is at the 50 centimeter mark. The balance point is at the 50 centimeter mark. So this is the meter rule balancing horizontally on the knife edge as you can see. It is balancing horizontally on the knife edge. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is to use the piece of string and tie it on the mass hanger. We use that piece of string and tie it on the mass hanger. Remember, if you're a new viewer to this channel, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button. Hit the bell icon for more notifications when I upload other videos and share this video to your friends. Please comment on the comment section below as well. So after that, we will suspend the mass hanger tied to the rope at the 2 cm mark of the meter rule. It is suspended this way at the 2 cm mark of the meter rule, as you can see. So that is the 2 cm mark. All right. So after doing that now, we will now try to balance the meter rule horizontally again to find its new balance point. Okay, so now this is me balancing the meter row horizontally again to find its new balance point, and now it is balanced horizontally. So we are going to look at its new balance point. All right, so the new balance point for this meter row now is its balance point is at. 42.7 centimeters 42.7 centimeters 42.7 cm so that's the new balance point all right so we take that down 42.7 all 
so the next thing we do is to add an extra 20 gram mass to that making the total gram mass to be 40 and once we do that we now find a new balance position for the meter row so balancing the meter row horizontally again now um trying to still balance it horizontally okay i think he's now see this mass is oscillating oscillating masses like this can affect the balance point of the meter row so you should make sure that the mass stops oscillating okay if not it will affect the balance point about the balancing of the meter row now the meter row is balanced so let's check for the reading of this meter of this new balance point now so we can see that the new balance point here now is 37.3 the new balance point here is 37.3 centimeters so we take that down now the next thing to do again is to add an extra 20 gram mass to the hanger and then find its new balance point so trying to balance this mass this rule on the knife edge again so we have that the new balance point now is so we are trying to check it out now the new balance point here now is at the hold on hold on let's get closer the new balance point here now is at is at 33.1 33.1 centimeters 33.1 centimeters so we take that down so we also add an extra 20 gram mass to the mass hanger and that takes us to 80 grams all right so now we have to balance the meter rule now horizontally again on the knife edge so we're trying to balance it and we can see it's balanced remember i'm fast forwarding this balancing process okay because of time okay the meter rule is balanced horizontally as you can see all right so we are now going to read off the points the balancing point on the knife edge so getting our camera closer taking a closer look now we can see that this point of balance is at 29.9 29.9 cm so our balance point is at 29.9 centimeters 29.9 centimeters okay so we take that down all right lastly we are going to add an extra 20 gram mass to the mass hanger making it up to 100 grams okay so we made it up to 100 grams okay now we are now going to find a new balance point of the meter rule on the knife edge so doing that now the meter rule is balanced so let us come closer now and take a look at the position of balance the balance point so taking a closer look now you can see that our balance point is at 27.3 27.3 centimeters so we take that readings down okay so we are now going to compute our table of values now for our table of values we have the center of gravity of the ruler which is at the 50 centimeter mark then the mass of the mass hanger is 20 grams just as we have gotten so we're now filling our table of values so when when m is 20 grams the value of l we got from our reading was 42.70 when we evaluate for x which is that length minus 2 we have 40.7 and evaluating for the inverse of x we have that the inverse of x is 0 0.025 so the same thing goes for when the mass is uh, 40 grams the l there is 37.3 cm just as we have gotten and 37.3 minus to give us 35.3 the inverse of 35.3 is 0 0.028 per centimeter 
The same thing goes for when the mass is 60 grams. The L there, as we got from our experiment, is 33.1. And the X there is 31.1. And the inverse of X is 0.032 per centimeter. The same thing goes for when the mass is 80 grams. We have L as 29.9 and x as 27.9 and the inverse of x as 0.036 per centimeter now lastly when the mass is 100 grams the value for l is 27.3 centimeters x is 25.3 centimeters and the inverse of x is 0.04 per centimeter now remember that y can decide to tweak the question to whatever they might ask you to get so this is just a prediction so don't forget that all right so let's move over to the graph plotting so before we plot our graph i want you to take note of the title of the graph the graph shows and uh, the graph of m against x inverse is very important then also the slope of the graph there you can see the slope of the graph graph 2 cm to represent 20 units on the vertical axis and 1 cm to represent 0.01 units on the horizontal axis now for the table of values that you can see that it has a uniform decimal placements and the the caption the type the, the caption of each column on the title block there has their respective units very very important so we take note of that all right so we'll now go into the graph plotting proper so when the value of x inverse is 0.025 the mass is 20 you mark out the point so when the value of x inverse now becomes 0.028 the value the corresponding mass there is 40 we mark out a point now when the value of x inverse is 0.032 per cm then the corresponding value of the mass is 60 so we mark out a point when the value for x inverse is 0 0.036 the corresponding mass is 80 grams so we mark out a point and lastly when the value for the x inverse is 0 0.04 per cm now the mass the corresponding mass there is 100 grams so we mark out a point so we join these points with a very straight line a very long straight line that is the graph as you can see you find the point of best fit the line of best fit and we draw choose a a convenient triangle for our slope as you can see represented by the red lines so slope is usually change in the vertical axis all over the change in the horizontal axis so we have that slope s is equal to change in m over change in x inverse and the values chosen from that from the graph is 100 minus 0 divided by 0 0.04 minus 0 0.021 and when we simplify we have this is 100 all over 0 0.019 which gives, gives us 5263.16 gram cm please take note of the units the unit is gram cm then they can ask us from the graph when the value of what is the value of x inverse when the mass is zero what's the value of x inverse when the mass is zero so we can see there that the value is 47.6 centimeter and i believe that and i believe that that is the value for the center of gravity of the meter rule